All right, let's look at 28 through 31. We have an exponential function that passes through the following points. The first question is asking, do these points represent an increasing or a decreasing exponential function? Now, if we just quickly sketch this, so 0, 1, 28, and then 3, 2 would be, you know, somewhere really far away from 128. Now, whether this is an increasing or decreasing exponential function, well, as x increases, y is decreasing. So that means that this is a decreasing function. How do you know? Well, as x increased in value, the y value decreased. Filling in, or fill in the table at the right, so using this um, same two points, so 0, 128, and we have 3, 2, we're asked to fill in the rest of the values here. So we can deduce here what you would have to multiply by to get from here to here on the table. So we are dividing here by 4. So 128 divided by 4 is 32. 32 divided by 4 is 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So you may have to do a little bit of guess and check if you're not sure, but just by looking at this, what you're dividing by. Working backwards to fill in the y values for these two, we would have to multiply by 4. So multiplying by 4 would give us 512 and 2048. If we were to sketch these points, so let's just do a quick sketch. Um, <clears throat> we go all the way up to around 2,000, so I'm just going to scale this by 500s. 1,500 and then 500. So if we do a quick sketch, negative 2, 2,048 would be about right there. Negative 1, 512. 0, 128, 132, 2, 8, 3, 2, and it gets very, very close to the x-axis. So here would be a sketch of what that graph would look like. Lastly, we need to write an equation that represents this exponential function. So this is, in essence, a geometric pattern. So y equals, when we have a geometric pattern, we first need the starting value. The starting point is here when x equals 0, so 128. And then we need a multiplier. So the multiplier, because we're dividing by 4, we're actually multiplying by 1 over 4. So that's our multiplier. And that is to the x power.